Hello and welcome back for day six of the seven day yoga challenge for runners. Well done on getting it this far through the challenge. I'm so proud that you're still here. Uh, today is another gorgeously mobilizing pre-run warm up. Uh, so this is focusing on again, the hips, knees and ankles. It's gonna connect you to your breath and your body and get you in a really good headspace for your run. So we're gonna start seated today. If you struggle uh, with your hip mobility, it might be useful today to have a cushion or a pair of yoga blocks or books as a substitute that you can place just underneath your pelvis for a couple of the movements we're taking. So feel free to sit on something here if you do feel like you need that leverage in your pelvis. Otherwise, sitting on the mat or the floor cross-legged or the soles of the feet together if that's more comfortable for you. Grow really nice and tall in your spine. Place the palms of the hands just on top of the knees and close down your eyes. So we'll just take a little moment at the start as always to feel sensations in our body. To just let go of external distractions and commit for the next 10 minutes or so to our well-being. This is a time to focus on ourselves to connect inwards. So deepening the uh, breath into your belly, feel it expand. Fill your body with air and when you're ready, we'll take a slow release out the mouth. Couple more cleansing breaths, inhale in through the nose, encouraging the breath into the belly and the back body. Exhaling distractions or the need to be anywhere but right here in your body. Taking one more in your own time. Just feeling that connection with the ground beneath your body and the heaviness of the palms on your knees or your thighs. Sense of grounding. Lovely, let's blink open our eyes. Take the legs forwards in front of you. Again, you can be seated on top of something if you need to here. Take the feet out to the edges of the mat and take your hands back behind you so you're resting back into the palms. Now just drop the knees from side to side. We're gonna windscreen wipe your legs. So immediately getting into our hip mobility, feeling a nice big range from internal to external on either side. Inhale through center. Exhale to release. One more inhale through center. Exhale to release. You can keep going with this. If you have really tight hips, keep going with this. If you've got a bit more room to work with, we're now gonna sit upright and do the same thing. So you're gonna twist over, come through center. Exhale in the twist. Inhale through center. Nice. And again, you can keep going with this. If you have a bit more space to work with and you wanna increase the range, we're now gonna add a lift. So you're gonna come up onto the shins, squeeze the glutes, lower the pelvis and over to the second side. So we come up and squeeze, lift and lower down. One more on each side. So really feeling mobility into hips and the knees. Lovely. So nice. From here, let's sweep our legs round and we're gonna come through to all fours. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, and simple cat cow, so release the belly, pull the heart through, inhale. Exhale, curl the tail, hug your abdominals up and in around your spine. Two more like that. So just mobilizing your spine. Got a bit more depth for the last one. Inhale, pull the heart through. Exhale, round your back. Let's take that a little bit further. So now you're gonna tuck your toes under. Inhale, pull the heart through. As you exhale, round your spine, pull the palms in slightly to press yourself back into the toe stretch with a rounded back. Come forwards, release the knees and pull the heart through, inhale. Exhale, round back, press the palms into the mat and push into the soles of your feet. One more, so mobilizing those feet, those ankles a little bit more now. Hold your rounded position, just take a couple of breaths into the back of the ribs here. So you feel like a really nice flexion, especially if your lower back, if, you're, uh, if you have a stiff or sore low back, this can feel really nice. Lovely, from here, 
walk those hands back forward slightly, spread your fingers wide and see if you can press straight up and back into downward facing dog. You may need to adjust slightly once you're there. And let's walk out our dog, so alternating the press through the heels, mobilize those ankle joints. I'm going to take that into a little flow sequence. So now deeply bend your knees, crouch your tailbone back towards the heels, inhale. Exhale, just extend at the knees and deepen the stretch. Two more, inhale, bend the knees, really pressing into the toe joints. Exhale, the heels press back towards the mat. One more, you can feel the range deepening with each repetition. So nice. From here, let's pick our right leg up, point through the toes and open the hip. As you exhale, step the foot between your hands. Warrior two, drop your back heel in towards the center of the mat and then spiral your arms out in line with the shoulders. So you're tracking open in that right hip. The right knee follows the line of the right big toe. We'll take a little flow here. So straighten your front knee, reach up and back with the right hand. Take an inhale, exhale, bend back into the knee and take the hand down inside the foot if you can reach. Otherwise, you can always take the forearm to the thigh as an alternative. Straighten your front knee, inhale, reverse. Exhale, tap the fingers inside the foot. One more, inhale, reach back. Exhale, bend into the knee, tap and hold just a couple of breaths. This is extended side angle. You're gonna feel a nice deep hamstring in a thigh stretch. You also get outer hip here. Just a great stretch for that right hip. Breathing into the right hip, breathing into any tensions you're feeling. And then release this hand down, walk your right foot to the right edge of the mat, come onto the ball of the back foot and hold this long lizard lunge. We'll take a gentle rock back and forth. Again, getting mobility into your left ankle joint, feeling the extension of the left toe joints. Beautiful, one more breath and then step straight up and back to downward facing dog. Really nice. Take a little moment, explore your body, explore the breath here. And then let's sweep our left toes up skyward. Open the left hip, take an inhale. As you exhale, let's step that left foot in between our hands, drop the back heel in towards the center of the mat and spiral open. This is warrior two. So our warrior two is a really wide stance about the length of one of your legs. And we wanna think the front heel tracks the arch or the middle of the back foot. The back foot's parallel to the outside edge of your mat. And let's take that flow. So straighten your front knee, reach up and back, take a lovely big inhale. Exhale, deeply bend into the front knee, either forearm to the thigh or take the fingertips down inside the foot. <sighs> Extended side angle. And again, inhale, lift up through the pelvic floor, the inner thighs, reach back. Exhale, deep bend into the knee and tap the hand inside the foot if you can make it there. One more. Make sure as you bend your left knee, it's tracking in line with your left big toe. Let's hold here for a couple of breaths. Deep stretch for that left hip. Send the inhale down into that left hip as you exhale, you're relaxing tensions from that space. Long spine, gorgeous. Releasing that right hand, walk your left foot to the left side edge of the mat. You're coming into this long lizard lunge and we'll take a gentle rock, uh, rock back and forth, mobilizing your right ankle joint and your right toe joints. Try to get the toes as lengthened as you can as you rock forwards. That's it. And you're also opening into the front of your right hip, finding that all important hip extension. And when you're ready, step straight back to downward facing dog. Last down dog of the practice. Just enjoy how open your body feels here. Really pressing those heels to the mat, reaching the tailbone skyward. And then from here, we're gonna to head to Malasana. So walk your feet out to the edges of the mat. The heels come in slightly, the toes point out slightly and walk your hands in. So this is where if you uh, have tight hips, I definitely recommend popping a cushion or yoga blocks or a pair of big sturdy books just underneath your sit bones to hold here. You can also be on the balls of your feet. Yes, yeah, so you don't have to have the heels down. 
And if this is just not happening for your hips today, this range is just not there, then you can take the feet wider and you can come up like this, press your forearms to the inner thighs and just hold here as your alternative. Yeah, so work with your body. That's it. If you're in a comfy malasana, might feel nice to take a gentle rock back and forth. Again, mobilizing hips, knees and ankles. And when you're ready, hands to prayer, just pull the heart forwards as much as you can. Breathe. You can stay right here or we can add a little rotation so your right palm comes down to the floor. The left arm opens wide, little twist. And then back through center, change sides, open, rotate. And back through center, lovely. Press those elbows into the inner thighs. Gentle pressure there. Breathe down into the pelvic floor. Lovely, and then release the hands to the mat. Let's lift our tailbone all the way up and back, wherever we are. Nice wide legged fold, so heel toe the feet further apart. Take a hold of the backs of your legs and gently pull yourself in, pulling the crown of the head towards the mat. Take a gentle nod of your head, yes. A shake, no. Inhale deeply, bend your knees, push your tailbone back. Exhale as you straighten and fold a little further. Two more, inhale to bend. Exhale to straighten and fold, last time. Gorgeous, let's heel toe those feet back in. Keep your knees nice and soft, feet underneath your hips and then roll all the way up through your bones. When you get to the top, we'll inhale our arms, come up overhead. Exhale your hands together at your heart center. Keep your eyes closed for a moment and just observe this connection that we've created with our bodies on the mat today. Thank you so much for joining me. I look forward to seeing you for the seventh and final day of the challenge tomorrow.